Hello y'all and welcome back survivors. We are late in the game and today we are going to show you how to set up the fish trap properly so you get actual fish. <laughs> so a lot of people have been having a few issues with this fish trap on where to place it. We're just going to go through quickly today on where to put it. So as you can see it only needs two pieces of rope, uh, six sticks, and two rocks to create here. We're going to go ahead and craft that now and if you don't know it is in the hunting menu of your crafting. Uh, menu so we're just gonna click on the fish trap plop that right down because you can't actually pick it up and put it in your backpack once you make it so we're just gonna have to drag that out to sea so before you do that though you do want to find a nice area where you're gonna remember exactly where your trap is otherwise go ahead and make yourself a spear plop that down so you know we're gonna put our fish trap straight out here I happen to know that I'm going to be putting it right here because of this little rock out clove and I already have two out there. So let's go ahead and just set this straight forward. Now when it comes to setting these traps, there's three different depths. Now as you can see we have like the shallows right here and if we set it here we're only going to get like little sardine fish and everything. We'll just go ahead and leave that there. Uh, but we're not going to get very big fish. So it's all about the depth that you place it at. Let's go ahead and place a spear right next to it. This really does help too, because uh, if you're, you know, trying to come out very quickly and you're worried about the sharks, you don't want to try to swim around finding your fishing traps. So you might want to grab that spear, maybe even a lantern, bring them out and put them right next to your fishing trap. This way, if we can't find this in the day, at least we can see it lit up at night. So I do have another fishing trap right out here. Yeah, there we go. And right in there, we do have a discus fish. Now this is about the medium, you know, uh, right on the edge of the, the reef. And, uh, ooh, whoa. See, it does get a little dangerous because the farther out we go, the uh, the more inclined the sharks are to, to come and, and hit us. Oh, God. <laughs> Just like that. So as you can see, we have another fish trap right here on the edge of the reef. This is where we're going to get the biggest fish fish uh, these cod are gonna go right into there he just went right out but those cod are the best oh no the sharks right on my butt <laughs> stay away from me all right well yeah the uh, the edge of the reef there is definitely the best for fishing because we're gonna get the big cod fish and we're gonna get possibly uh, what was that other big lion fish out there so we don't have to try to find those lion fish and then in the medium, we're gonna get the discus fish. These do give us a, you know, one small meat, and the cod give us one medium meat. And if you put it in the shallows, like we were saying, you're just gonna get these little sardines, which these are nothing. You could probably just, you know, collect these on your own. <laughs> so if you are gonna use the fishing traps, I would definitely suggest putting them in the middle. Oh, really? Uh, I hate you so much. <laughs> so I would really suggest putting them in the middle right here or on the edge of the reef. Looks like I lost my bearing here. It's getting dark. And that's really all there is to it. It does take a few hours for it to uh, collect something. Let's go ahead and just run on out see if we do have something. It's been about an hour. Uh, nothing in there, of course. Uh-oh, there he is. My lantern turned off. There we go. Uh, nothing in there. Well, we did just grab that discus fish about an hour ago, and I should have my other trap right here. No, nope, nothing in there either. So it does take, you know, half a day to a day for them to collect something, but it's passive. So that's the nice thing about it. You don't have to, to keep coming and checking. You just go out when you need food, and hopefully you got something in there. So a quick video on how to set up the fishing trap. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any more questions about the fishing trap specifically, definitely hit them in the comment down below. And just remember, we were late in the game, but better late than never. Have a great play.